and your thoughts on the result of performance this evening? Yeah, I was um, yeah really pleased with both. Um, yeah, you know, we had to earn the win tonight. It's a tough place to come. Obviously, they're desperate for a result, and um, you know they challenge you in different ways here. You know, with you know, a lot of balls in the box throws and free kicks, and you have to deal with it. And I thought for the most part we handled it really well, and uh, still played some decent football uh, within that. Created some good chances, um, scored two good goals, and then you had to show some obviously some. <coughs> character and resilience towards the end there, but even that I thought we handled it really well. <coughs> Did you have any complaints about the red part of the season? Oh, no, look, I, mean, I assume they slowed it down and they saw what they saw and, uh, you know, you have, to, you have to cop it. Do you think there's any kind of thing in that that sometimes when you slow incidents down like that, it can seem much worse than maybe what I don't know. Don't know. It's, it's three suspensions now for Pazuma. I mean, is, is that an issue? Is this discipline? Well, it's an issue, but it's not so much discipline. I mean, tonight, I mean, like I said, I haven't seen the slowed down version, but it was just a desperate lunge more than anything malicious. So, you know, the guys are, you know, having to having to sort of um, learn how to play our football without sort of crossing the line, but I love the commitment they show. So, you know, we unfortunately, um, we pay a price now because you know, just for this game, he obviously misses a fair chunk of football between now and when he comes back. So it's disappointing, but it is what it is. Spoke well about mm. yesterday. Uh, it's been a great week for him, hasn't it? Yeah, he, 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 Richie's um, he's been good and uh, he was good again tonight. <coughs> Not an easy game. We weren't going to get a lot of space back there, and you know, it was you know his impact is in the box, and uh, you know, it was a great ball by Decky, and, and you know, but that's you know that's what Richie's really good at. You know, his his timing in the air and his ability to you know um, get the ball in the back of the net in those kind of situations. Um, was was vital for us tonight. I mean, he's, he's, he, he seems to love the moment, doesn't he? Mm. Atmosphere, you know, yeah. Last season, but he plays up to that. Good thing. Yeah, and, and like I said, I think he's in a better space physically and mentally. You know, it's. Um, I, I said during the week. <coughs> yeah, it was it was hard for him, but he he soldiered on. But you know, you, at the same time, he knows that when he's out there, people are just assuming you, if you're out there, you you you're going to perform at a certain level, and you can't make excuses, but. He's definitely feeling a lot better about himself physically, mentally now, and um, you know, for strikers scoring goals is obviously important. But just his general all-around play has been really good for us last couple of weeks. Yeah, he's just got a. He should be okay. He's just got a nasty cut on his head, so um, yeah, nothing that should keep him out. No, 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 there's no concussion. It was just a, just a cut on the head. You mentioned Paul. <coughs> From Decky, yeah, yeah, no, he was he was great. Um, you know, he's he's been great all year. To be fair, he played him in a number of positions, and um, you know, we started off him off in the middle, and I thought he was really good, and he was causing the problems, and I thought we were looking really <coughs> strong through that early bit. We created a couple of really good opportunities. Um, <coughs> then obviously Brennan goes off. We have to put him wide, and you know, again, we know what he can do out there, but you know, we, we've been working really hard with him to to become more of a goal threat. We feel like he's. It's probably the one aspect of his game. He still kind of needs to bridge a gap, and, and he's he's taken that on board. And you know, he's he's now getting into positions where you know he can score goals, and he has in the last few games. And um, yeah, I mean, his general work rate's outstanding anyway, but he's got the quality to back it up. Uh, and can we ask you about Chris? Um, if there's any update on his future and Swansea's injuries? No, no, not as far as I know, mate. Um, sure. If it progresses or if there's anything resolution, we'll find out uh, next few days. Okay, thank you. Thank you.